Hello, everybody. Okay. <laughs> Hi, it is Monday at 1 p.m. Central Time. Whoops, hang tight. Sorry, Facebook is still keeping the switch your camera around button hidden from us. It's just a little extra joy in your day. Thank you, Facebook. I'm just being facetious. <laughs> yeah, they hate us. Anyways, um, there's no button to turn my camera around on Facebook. So when I start the live, it's pointing away from me and I want it to be on me, right? <laughs> Hi, Amy. Hi, Margaret. Jamie, excited to see you guys coming in here. So I decided, well, I'll just wait just a few minutes. Um, we'll just We'll just chat a little bit. I had training this morning. And so I was planning on being on at noon, um, not realizing that my training would probably not allow that. And it didn't. I just got done with a training call and I do business training. And um, so I thought I better move this to one o'clock. And since I hadn't like put out an advertisement for it yet, I thought I could do that. So I hope you guys weren't all searching for me for like the last hour because that would make me feel really bad. <laughs> so I'm going to bring me up on my iPad here so that when I flip this camera around to show you all the beautifulness today, I will be able to see your comments. Let me see here. Come on, Kelly, you're getting better at this. You gotta be a little quicker. Here it is. Oh, that was my mom last night. Did you guys love seeing my mom last night? Um, Erie, Michigan, on a bike. You're on a bike. I didn't go. I didn't go for my bike ride yet today because I just have. I'm running behind. I'm like getting behind on all my things. I have so much stuff going on, and um, I woke up this morning and my mom stayed overnight again. After I got done with my live last night, we went right over to Haley and Jared's house and we played with Baby Bell, and. <laughs> Hi, Joe, you're so sweet. Um, she was just a doll and she was wound tight and she was playing with her great grandma and they just had a blast and she was pretty funny. She's a pretty funny kid. And this morning my mom said, wow, that little doll's really wound tight. And I'm like, I know, that's why she's gonna kill the new baby. <laughs> that's what you say, she's gonna kill the baby. <laughs> So anyhow, we ran right over there and then we didn't get home till after the Packers won the game. Oh, nail biter. Yeah, so. Oh, thank you, Wendy. He says your mom is as beautiful as you are. You are so sweet. Yeah, my mom is just a doll. Um, I love her to death. So she got up. She, she was getting up the same time I did this morning. And then she went and met my nephew, one of her grandchildren, for breakfast down the street at our third street diner. So that's where my mom went. And she's like, do you want to join us? And I'm like, oh, I wish I could, but I just can't. Um, I need to get retreat boxes out of here today. I have all the postage printed. When we're done here, I'm going to run downstairs and put them on the boxes, pack them full of some packing stuff so nothing gets ruined in them and get them to the post office. And Steve said he would help me do that. So that's awesome. Lots of retreat boxes going on. How many of you attended the retreat over the weekend? We had a virtual retreat. So no matter where you live in the United States, and even outside the United States, you could do an online only version of the retreat. It was spectacular. So we had mystery stamping and a scavenger hunt and card contests and a wow swap contest and um, a color challenge and a layout challenge and just so much fun. Display stampers that showed us, you know, 15 to 20 cards with one suite. We had four of those, I think. Um, we had gallery uploads where Dina Barb and I shared swap cards that we've been receiving um, in a gallery so you could find all of them easily and just so, so much fun. Oh, I see lots of me's coming in that they attended. Um, we'll probably be having another retreat in the spring when we have a new catalog come out, the new um, spring mini catalog will be coming out. Andy says the retreat was marvelous. Thank you so much. We have so much fun with that. Barb, Dean and I each did a live card class with um, minimum four cards in each one of those classes. And we did four different bundles of product, four cards for each of those. So there was just so much content. It was crazy. 
and all the people attending are going to get, well, all the people who chose to add the swag box are getting $100 in product coming with their make and take packets for 16 cards. Oh my gosh, right? Watch for your fun mail for those of you who joined us. Um, oh my gosh, so, so much fun. Okay, so today I'm not going to be stamping for you. Don't be sad. Um, today I have buckets and buckets of swap cards here that I'm going to share with you. I want you guys to know that celebration ends on Thursday. So you only have through Thursday at like 11 o'clock or so at night to place an order and be able to qualify for free celebration products. And I have so many things that I have either made or swaps that I got from different people because I do a lot of card swapping um, that I have not been able to share with you because, gosh, there's only two months of celebration and I have so many more pretty things that I want you to be able to see. So, oh, thank you so much. Susan says, great content. It was amazing. Thank you so much. We have a blast doing these retreats. They're so much fun. They're a lot of work, but they're so much fun. And I know they're so rewarding. Get your creative juices flowing again, or maybe give you a kickstart, recharge your batteries. It's like when us demonstrators go to a Stampin' Up! event. That's where I get my batteries recharged. That's where I get excited and I come home with a million things running through my head. What am I going to share with you guys first? It's just so much fun. So with celebration ending on Thursday, I also want to make sure if you are not getting a discount on your Stampin' Up! products, you need to join my team. You're going to get a free bundle of your choice out of the holiday mini catalog over and above the fabulous deal that you get when you order the kit to be a discount shopper. Now, whether you want to build a business, I never push anybody to do anything they don't want to do. And I see a lot of my team members on here that are discount shoppers. I have never pushed you to do anything you don't want to do, right? Um, we're going to see those messages coming up um, I, because it's it's your deal. Lisa says Kelly's team is amazing. Thank you so much. Um, it's your deal. You can do whatever you want with it. And I have a whole, whole huge bunch. Most of my team is made up of discount shoppers. They're doing this to be part of something bigger and also to get a discount on their products, to be able to order early from our, our annual catalog, our mini catalogs, celebration. We get to earn those products early. So it's really, really fun. You get so many different things. Um, plus, you get me. And um, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm kind of a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie says Kelly is the best. Thank you so much. But you get a whole bunch more than you would ever know. And there's no strings attached. You order your kit for $99. You get to choose $125 in product. You will get a paper pumpkin kit. You will get to get a, um, whoops, wrong catalog. You'll get to order a free bundle out of this mini catalog. And that has like a 60 some dollar value. And again, you're only paying $99. The kit is completely customizable. Once you do that, you get um, you get approved to be in all of my groups. I have a blog for my team. I have a private Facebook page. Um, we do training every Wednesday afternoon. I do a um, question and answer live every Tuesday morning. So there's just a whole bunch of fun that goes with this. And... Um, Cindy White says, this is silly. I just noticed we have the same nail polish. I'm going to put these fingers up. Look at that. Did you get glitter on yours? I love the glitter on the one finger. This one broke. Oh my good Lord. That reminds me. I need to put, I need to put nails on my list. I've got hair cut. I need to get my hair trimmed, but I need to make a nail appointment. So I'm going to stick that right there. So I don't forget, get these darn things fixed. I broke it making a bed for Connie when she came down from Marquette. I was making one of our beds and um, yeah, broke my nail. No glitter. Cindy, get the glitter on just that finger. It's so pretty. They do like a little ombre. I hope you can see that. Anyways, enough about nails, enough about being a discount shopper. There's never enough about being a discount shopper. You'll love it. 
you'll love it. And you know what? If it doesn't work out for you, it's not a big deal. You can still continue to order from me. I don't, um, I don't be cranky with you. I don't like, oh, that, that Susie, she quit my team. Nope, not at all. Not at all. The next time we have a special, I ask you to join up again. So you can do whatever you want there. All right. I am going to flip this camera around so I can start showing you, where did that celebration go? All the pretties, right? I just want you to see all the pretties. So hang tight. We're gonna flip this around, hope nothing happens. I don't know if I put my phone on do not disturb, so I hope nobody calls me or I'm gonna be really mad. I don't get a lot of phone calls. I know people, when they do call me, they're like, oh, I'm so sorry to bother you. It's like, you kidding? I haven't had human contact in days. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. So if you do decide to place an order, this is my current host code. If your order is under $150, please use that code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have your rewards. So here we go. Now, you guys know that the bedazzling paper was just a huge, huge hit. I think I might, I have a partial pack right over here. Oh my gosh, it was just so gorgeous. And it's gone. It's gone. But for those of you that did get it, look at this. Isn't that pretty? This is the Bright Bobbles bundle of product. I used that bedazzling paper as a layer under here, and then I cut this out of that layer. So you're not like completely wasting. This is just a really fun bundle. So anyways, enough about that. You can't get it anymore. <laughs> but for those of you that have it, yay you, right? All right. For those of you that might to, might have tuned in early, what I'm doing here today is I'm gonna, I just want to share all my swap cards with you before celebration is over. It ends on Thursday. I'm not going to be stamping today, so I don't want anybody to get to the end of this video and be disappointed like, why didn't she stamp? We're not stamping. We're just sharing today. All right. Who has the Penguin Playmates Designer Series paper? Is this not the cutest darn paper ever? I absolutely love it. And if you have been watching, you will know that we've been making a whole bunch of cards that have nothing to do with polar bears, penguins, foxes, um, rabbits, or Christmas in general. This is just some beautiful pattern paper you can make for all occasion cards. But I'm going to show you the cards that I have. Now, I have to admit, I have mailed a lot of my cards out already, and I don't know what I was thinking. I should have kept them until now, but I just, I was excited and I wanted to send them to people. So I send out a lot of thank you cards for orders. Everybody who orders from me gets a thank you card in the mail. And so I've used a lot of my cards already. I don't have them all, but this one, let's get this out of the way. This one is a perfect example of a card that has nothing to do with penguins or playmates or Christmas. It just uses that beautiful, beautiful paper. Isn't that nice? It says, some friendships are just meant to be. Love you, friend. Uh-oh. Okay, my screen just said that my internet was interrupted. <sighs> um, I'm back though, so we're good. But isn't that pretty? Again, penguin playmates. And then we have this little cutie patootie. Now these penguins are made with the black glitter paper that is on back order right now. But we do have some more coming in. But isn't this just cute? Yeah, be cool, be chill, be merry. Season's greetings. Love that. Here's another super cute one with that little skiing penguin. And this is a birthday card. So winter birthday card, perfect. Isn't that cute? Here they just cut out the polar bear and put it on the front of this pretty little card. And it says Mary. This one I love. This uses the Peaceful Deer Designer Series paper, which I'll show you in a little bit. The penguin is punched right out of the paper. And then they tied a piece of our white um, mm, crinkled seam binding that they colored red around it for a scarf. Isn't that cute? Look at how cute that is. Let's see if there's anything on the inside. Oh, and a little strip of that same designer series paper. Oh, that shouldn't even be in here. That doesn't even use that. I'll show it to you again when we go to the peaceful deer. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, this is again the snowman just cut out of the paper. 
with a bunch of layers. Um, Calypso Coral, very, very pretty. This is one of the coordinating colors in the designer series paper. Here's another one. Now this uses the um, peaceful place designer series paper with that silver foil trees and one of the snowmen cut right out of the paper. So this is just a great set of designer series paper. We got nothing on the inside. Here comes another one. Again, just a cute use, a cute use of that paper. Be cool, be chill, be merry, season's greetings. Here comes another one with the scallop. This is a little fun fold, little designer paper there on the inside that you see here. Super cute, happy birthday card for winter. I love that. Here comes another one. Very, very cute card. Great use of that designer paper. And this was just cut out of the designer paper. Here comes a little penguin with some little trees. Love this. This uses that embossing folder that's half stars and half um, checkered. Here comes another one. I love the stripes. I love the stripes through there. I just think that's very, um, it just really... Um, pops and then I love that they used the polka dots in the background behind the penguin isn't that cute and it says I like you a lot it's like a little except a lot <laughs> I love that saying so cute here's another one it uses the postage stamp with all the designer paper well three of the designer paper patterns very cool and this is the last one that I have here. Oh, look, at this is a fun fold. Look at that. It's held on by this little piece. I really like that. We might have to make that. Huh, I'm going to set that aside. Okay, that is our Penguin Playmates Designer Series paper along with the Penguin Place bundle. That's in the um, Holiday Mini Catalog. Let me set these aside. Next, we are going to go to, oh, feels like home. And I'm so mad at myself about this one because I had a bunch of cards that I made with this stamp set and I mailed them all out. I don't even have them anymore. They're on my blog. You can scroll through and find them. But this was a swap card that I got and I got a few more too, but I, I've already used them. I just love this so much. Remember I made all those cards with the colored door? I just colored in the door. That's it. And um, for those of you that don't like to color, don't let that deter you from choosing line art stamp sets that you like because you can do a lot of different things than coloring them all up, okay? So this is one idea, just a little bit of coloring on the door there. But these that I made last night in my Facebook Live, I didn't color anything. I just stamped them. And isn't that so pretty? I just love this card. I can't get enough out of these. This is the Coastal Cabana one. This is the Misty Moonlight one. And then, of course, I made a matching envelope. This is that In Good Taste designer series paper with all the textures in it. Oh, fabulous pack of paper. And then, of course, the cork. Love me the cork. All right, so that is our Feels Like Home. And like I said, I don't have any more of these because I used them all. <laughs> but this, again, free with your $50 order. If I didn't say that, this is free with a $50 order too. Then, let me set these aside. Oh, I know, I keep forgetting to show this to you guys. So, okay, are you ready for something fun? This is the torn edge technique that I used for my blog hop on Friday. Our theme was torn edges. So this is the card that I made. This I found in a drawer. You know, I've been cleaning out rooms and we've been remodeling. This was in a drawer. This was the first um, card, Christmas card, that I sent out to all my customers when I first started stamping. And this uses a torn edge technique too. This is glossy white paper, which we don't have anymore. Um, there's my love, Kelly Stephen Haley. Um, but I took the torn edge of the paper. Hang on. I took the torn edge of the paper and I laid it on here. And then I sponged color and I stamped and embossed these snowflakes. So it gives me this little 
thing through there. Who still has this stamp set with the, remember it had the four words that were so pretty and long. I love that one. So I found this in a drawer and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's torn edge. It's just a different way to do it. So I had to make sure I showed you guys that. But I don't, I wish I would have wrote the year on here. This is from, you know, I've been a demonstrator for 17 and a half years. And I'd say this was probably, this is probably 15 or 16 years old. So my cards hold up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next we have the beautifully penned designer series paper. Now, this is another one that I have mailed a lot of my samples out with. So I am going to, oh, I've got two things to share with you here. This paper is free with a $50 order and you get, I think, I want to say four of each sheet. I don't remember. What does it say in here? For each, I was right, for each of three double-sided designs. And of course, black and white paper, oh, it's always my favorite. I love it. So here is a beautiful card. This is the beautifully penned, that, which coordinates with the hand-penned suite of products. So it coordinates with these flowers, but isn't this just so, so pretty? This is that designer series paper, and I love this one. See, nope, we don't have anything on the inside. Then we have this one also um, coordinating with the hand penned suite. And this is a book binding. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, just colored some of the flowers. You don't have to get crazy with it. Or you can just leave it black and white too. Well, we've got that matching um, fresh freezer ribbon. So pretty. Now, these are some cards that I made. And we're going to bring in, we used not only the beautifully penned designer series paper, but we also brought in the Shaded Summer. Shaded Summer is from our annual catalog. But the Shaded Summer dies, a whole set of dies, are free with your $100 order. And let me find that particular, here they are right here on page 13. The Shaded, or the Summer Shadow Dies free with a hundred dollar order. So you get, uh, let me get the things out of the way. You get 11 different dies in here. And that's what I made these flowers, or these flowers, these cards with. This is those dies and the stamp set. And isn't that cool? This is a corner tuck card that I did a while back. And then I stamped my envelope. And here is just another color. I used Calypso Cor or, um, Coastal Cabana here and Mango Melody there. And aren't they just both so stunning? I love these. I just think they're so cool. So that's the Summer Shadow Dies with the beautifully penned Designer Series paper. All right, what else? Do I oh, here's another one. I didn't even realize that was there. This is Fresh Freesia. Yeah, isn't that so pretty? So we've got this one and this one and this one. Gorgeous free dies with a $100 order. All right, let me put these back over here because I, I do use my cards. I send them out to people. Here is one more. I got to take this out of the little envelope. I hope I'm not missing any of your questions. I forgot to be looking if you have any questions. This is a nice little fun fold. Oh, using the dies and also the stamp set, right? Isn't that pretty? Yeah, these are just three tags. This one is Pale Papaya, Flirty Flamingo, and So Saffron, I believe, with that tag set of tag dies, which is kind of a really neat card. Okay, let me set these over to the side. And this is that stamp set, just in case I kind of wished that through there really fast. I love the sentiments in here. I love the fonts, but I love... Above and beyond, you go there a lot. Isn't that sweet? May the good you do come back to you. And some friendships are just meant to be. I love these. Okay, next up, we did all the penguin cards, right? So let me set that over there. Let's see what else we have here. Let's go back to, okay, we did the paper. We did the feels like home. Now we're going to go to the peaceful prints. And I do have quite a few of these. Let's set this off to the side. Here comes those peaceful prints. This is some fantastic paper. Just fantastic. I love it. 
So there's that penguin card I shared with you before with the peaceful prints free with a hundred or $50 order. You get a whole pack of this little strip on the inside there. Let me move this out of the way. Then we have this card with a little bit of that bedazzling in there. You guys, if you already have the bedazzling, just a little strip of it like that is so stunning. This is an awesome card. Oh, and you can see the back. Nice right? That's a great way to be able to see both sides of the cardstock. Here's another one. Same thing. Same card, just different stamps out of the Peaceful Deer. And again, you can see the back of the designer paper. I really love that. <gasps> Here's another one. Same thing. Back of the designer paper. Peaceful Deer. Oh, how about another one? Oh my gosh, this deer was stamped right on the red plaid paper. Okay, so somebody just said, Rosemary said, how do you find time to make so many cards? <laughs> I don't make all these. <laughs> Rosemary, I do a lot of swapping. So what that means is I might come up with one card and I make 20 of these and I send them off to a swap coordinator Somebody who said, hey, I'm hosting a swap with the penguins. You want to join? Make 20 cards. Send them to me. Then she sends me back. Let me see if I can find. I got a bunch of bags over here. She sends me back a whole bag filled with 20 cards, and they're all different. So that's where I get a lot of my ideas from. Now, that's not to say I don't make a lot of my own cards, okay? Because, whoops, hang on. My iPad just did something stupid. I do make a lot of cards because, well, this is my full-time job and I work a lot and I love it. <laughs> Here's another one. Same layout. So I'm getting ideas from people all over the country. And I don't think we did this one yet. Here's another one. This is punched out with that deer punch and popped up. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, these are all the same card. Well, this one isn't, but... All of these are the same exact card. This was actually a class that I shared with my team. Discount shoppers, business builders, doesn't matter. They all got all the dimensions and a video tutorial. I think there was a video tutorial. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did a video on how to make all of these. And don't forget to stamp up your envelopes to match, right? So this was something that was shared exclusively with my team. And here comes another card. This just is the paper. That isn't punched out. This is just the paper right here. And isn't that pretty? Like, you don't have to do anything. Yeah, very nice. Here comes another one. I thought I had these all out, but I don't. So hang tight. Here comes another one. Little circle of vellum behind here. And doesn't that black and white gingham look fantastic with this because we've got the, you know, the gingham pattern on the trees. Yeah. And this is my last one. I saved this one because it's really pretty cool. Oh, this was made by Kathy Miller. She's one of my assistants and my good friend and my team member. Look at that. <gasps> Holy cannoli, right? How fun is that? Now, just so you know, when this video, when I'm done being live, hi, Sue Sorrell, when I am done being live here, this is going to be, um, you can replay this video as many times as you want, and you can watch it, you can pull it forward to fast forward it, you can pull it back to um, rewind it, and you can pause it, so that you can, when I have it open like this, you can pause it right here, check this out. So yeah, you can go back and do all of those things. But this, again, Peaceful Deer, the designer series paper matches beautifully with the, um, this is called Peaceful Prints, I'm sorry, matches beautifully with the Peaceful Deer bundle, and I do highly recommend it. It's a fantastic bundle, and it's very easy to design with. I love bundles that are like that, right? Okay, next up, see what we got here. See what's happening. You get some good samples, you know, beautiful samples in here too. <gasps> the counting sheep. So we have a stamp set and we have a set of dies. The dies are no longer available. They sold out, um, I think over the weekend. So you can't get these anymore, but you can still get this adorable 
sheep stamp set. And look at these fun cards that are made with this. I have a whole bunch. Whoops, there went a basket. I have a whole bunch of cards using the sheep. And I also have a lot of them that I have mailed out, so I can't even show you, which I'm so sorry. I wish I wouldn't have done that. Here comes a cute little sheep. Is this not adorable? And you could certainly cut the sheep out. This has Wink Estella on the sheep wool, which makes it look extra cute. Isn't that a cute? It says, hello, little one. You're amazing. And since I have another baby coming, I better keep this, right? Well, that's not really very boyish. We'll keep one of them. Here's another one. So glad it's your birthday. And this uses that beautifully penned designer series paper that's free. Very cool. I love this one. Isn't that cute? This is some of our designer series paper from a different pack. So you can, you know, match this up with anything. I wonder if I made that card. I can't remember. I don't think I did. Isn't that funny? I can't even remember. And I love this one. This is so cute. So glad it's your birthday. I love the bright color. I did make this one. This was part of a technique challenge to use paper piecing. So I pieced all different colors together and then die cut them in a circle. Isn't that cute? I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. And here comes another one. This was, again, paper piecing technique. Let's see if I can open my own card. <laughs> Did some splattering on here just so that it wasn't so stark white. And then that really makes that sheep stand out. This is done in pinks. This is done in greens, blues. Same card. And then this one, I did the same thing, pinks and then greens, blues. This is Coastal Cabana with a bunch of other colors that I don't remember what they are. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, here comes another one. Let's see. Oh, this is so cute. Look how bright that is. Ah, fun fold. Those fun little sheep. And here comes another one. Oh, this is by Sue Souza. Is Sue on here tonight, today? Not tonight, it's today. This is Sue's card, and isn't that just cute? She ran this through the embossing folder and then cut it into strips and spread it out. Yeah, and then use a little bit of it here. That's a great idea, Sue. Way to go. And then this one. This is from Lisa D'Alessandro. She is also one of my team members. Check that out, you guys. Oh my gosh, is that not cool? It says, happy birthday. Hope your day is fantabulistic, fabulous and fantastic all in one. This comes from the In Your Words stamp set. That stamp set is um, the host reward if you place an order over $300 or have a party with a total over $300. Yeah, Linda says there's always fussy cutting. Hi, Linda, I'm so happy to see you on here. But yeah, this is a really nice stamp set. You get it free. We'll talk about that in a bit. But yeah, isn't this just so very cool? Okay, so this is Counting Sheep. And while the dies are no longer available, the stamp set is pretty spectacular. It's great for making all kinds of cards, not just... I always think of sheep as baby cards, but not so much, right? These don't have to be baby cards. All right, next up, let me move these off the way. Um, we have our peaceful prints. I hope that's what's next. Is that what next? Oh, no, oh, sorry. Not the peaceful prints. Uh, we are going to do... Da -da -da -da. Hang on, I lost, I lost my cards. Oh, here they are. Nope, that's not it. Where'd they go? Hold the phone. Oh, maybe that's the one that fell over. It was, oh, no, that was the penguins. Okay. Oh, they're under here. I'm like, what the heck? I know I had them here. <gasps> Did you guys catch my Facebook Live last night? I used this textures and frames card and, or stamp set free with your $50 order. You can see all the really cool different ideas they have in here. A lot of neat stuff. 
This is what we made last night. Isn't that cool? Just lots of circles stamped in various colors. And then I used the outline circle on the background of both of these cards so that it wasn't just plain. But yeah, super cute. And just circles. A lot of people I know struggle and they're like, they look at this and they go, huh, I don't know what to do with that. And all you need to do is open it up and get started because you saw me. I just went crazy yesterday, uh, Saturday afternoon, I made all of these cards. So here comes another one. Matching envelope. I also incorporated the happy birthday greeting set. Let me grab that. I got it right here. The biggest wish, I use that, and then I use happiest of birthdays on these cards. And can I just say, if you are in the need for a sentiment set for birthdays, I would pick these two. There's thanks, hello in here, friend, all these good little things. This one is pretty much birthday, but it's got, it's your day, enjoy it. That could be for other things. I use these two all the time and I love them. So these two cards, then I also made this card with that happy, happy birthday. You saw me make that in the Stamparatus. That was really cool. Same color scheme. This uses every single one of these texture and frame stamps in here for a collage. And then I made this man card. These are kind of man cards too, but this is definitely a man card, right? Isn't that cool? And that's made with the outline rectangle and then these stripes. That's all I used on here. Made some stripes down here, some stripes down here. I love this. And again, this little happy birthday is coming from the happiest of birthdays. And then this card I got from my friend Dina. This was a swap card, Rose, Rose, Rosemary. I think it was Rosemary that asked that question. This was a swap card that I received in the mail. So um, this was made by my friend Dina and she just used those circles in graduating colors. So I'm thinking she stamped the light ones first and then I think those are pale papaya and then flirty flamingo and then um, Magenta Madness to make a fantastic, adorable, very striking card, right? So simple. So I know a lot of people look at this and say, I don't know what to do with it, but there is so many things you can do. All you have to do is get out and start goofing with it. It's really fun. Okay, let me put all of these back in their pile. And then... We already did the summer shadow dyes. Oh, the dahlias. Let's do the dahlias. Okay. Uh, we already did Peaceful Deer, didn't we? Maybe? I don't know. Um, dahlias coming up next. <laughs> Isn't that funny that I can't remember what I did 10 seconds ago? It's not really, it's kind of sad. <laughs> but we're gonna laugh together, right? By the way, you guys, give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying yourself. That really helps um, with all the computer space, internet, analytics. I appreciate the thumbs up. This is Delicate Dahlias. And can I just say, delicious. I love this. I love this, that it looks real. These images look real life. They're like photographs made into a stamp. And they're incredibly gorgeous. So I kept wanting to make this. This is by one of my team members, Mary Stroman. I kept wanting to make this on a Facebook Live and I just didn't get to it. But look at how pretty. I just, this just really grabbed me and I went, whoa, that is gorgeous. She used Wink of Stella on the flowers. She stamped the flowers first and then ran it through the timber embossing folder to give it that beautiful texture. And then she put some um, Wink of Stella on those flowers and added the shimmer sequins that are in the Holiday Mini Catalog. And these are, it's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. So pretty. Here comes another one with the dahlias. By the way, this set has 12 different photopolymer stamps in it. It is a much larger stamp set. Um, and it is free with a $100 order. Here comes another one. Stamped Blushing Bride Calypso Coral, I believe. 
just twice like that and then made a card. Like, isn't that pretty? This is from my friend Donald Shevsky. I love this one. This is stamped with bleach. So they stamped this flower in bleach on cherry cobbler. And depending on what color cardstock you use, your bleach is going to turn different colors for all different colors of cardstock. It depends on what their chemistry makeup is. And then people go, whoa, what? You can stamp your stamps in bleach and it doesn't destroy them? No, it really doesn't. You want to make sure you clean them off when you're done. But I've done um, a lot of bleach stamping many years ago. It was a very hot um, technique. And isn't that cool? I, I love it. I think it's beautiful. And here's that flower that looks so real, right? Mm. Yeah, pretty. Next up, we have this. And this is, who made this card? Let me see. Mm, this is from Laura Bartow. And this is a fun fold. Isn't that pretty? And she used that timber embossing folder on here also. Look at those leaves. Oh, I love it. Love it. I love that you can see the back of that designer series paper too. Very pretty. Then we have this beauty. Hang on. Oh, this is also by Laura. Look how pretty that is. More designer paper. This is that thanks, thank you, and hello. You get both folders, embossing folders in a pack. It's one of the, the skinnier, the little the halvesies, I call them, the smaller embossing folders. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, very pretty. I love this. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous stamp set. It's one that you can use for years and years and years to come. It's not going to go out of style. This is from Lorraine Duran. And Lorraine used that floral embossing folder that's part of a hybrid bundle. I can't remember what it's called. But she stamped her dahlias on here first, and then she she used the outline stamp, outline stamp, and then the any stamp, <laughs> the detailed stamp to stamp the color in them, and then she ran it through that embossing folder that's part of a hybrid bundle in the annual catalog. You'll find it if you look at the embossing folders in the back. But yeah, isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. And this is one of my favorites too. Hang on, let me get it open. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Again, they used the outline stamps, the detail stamps. So pretty. And I believe this is, um, I want to say it's Coastal Cabana, but it looks a little lighter. So maybe Pool Party with Mango Melody and Old Olive. Or Pear Pizzazz. This is Pear Pizzazz. But isn't that just so pretty? And again, with that beautifully penned designer series paper down here. Hi, Tammy. I see Tammy coming in and Carol coming in. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful. And last but not least, I made more cards with this, but I don't have them. Because um, I mailed them out already. But this was my card. And I used the beautifully penned designer series paper and just the um, detailed stamp. And then I splattered my layer. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Oh, I do have one more hand. I'm going to run over here and grab it. I didn't finish it. Yeah, I just, I never got this one done. I don't know why it ended up over there on my desk, but look at that. This is crumb cake, and I just stamped a whole bunch of these flowers with the rich razzleberry and put a little label on it, and I, I, I lost one of my little embellishments, but whatever. I never finished it. Do you guys ever do that? Does that happen to you? <laughs> do you like make something and never like, I, I can put this on a card base and use it. So I guess that's good, right? So this is that delicate dahlias. So, so pretty. Oh, I just love all of these. What else do we have here? Oh, the in your words. So I am going to give away an in your words stamp set. And I am going to go through at 6 p.m. tonight. Everybody who's left a comment on this video. Nope. Let's see. I want you to share this. If you share the this video, if you share this video, I will enter you in a drawing to win not only the In Your Words stamp set, 
but also a half a pack of the beautifully penned designer series paper. Ah! Yeah, I love to give stuff away. And I'm so fortunate that I get a lot of this stuff for free because I do a lot of kit classes and stuff like that that um, bring me some of these free things. And I love sharing them with you guys. So if you will share this video, I will enter you to win this. And I will do a drawing. What, when did I say by tonight? Let's do a drawing. Hang on. I'm going to get my post-it note. Let's do a drawing. Today is Monday, Tuesday at 6 p.m. Central Time. Central. Okay? You share my video by 6 p.m. Central Time, Tuesday, September 28th. I'll put this in my phone as an alert so I don't forget too. And I will do a drawing to win the In Your Words. This is a set, set of 10 different stamps, red rubber, and a half a pack of this beautiful designer series paper for watching and sharing. So I'll put that right there. I can't wait to give this away. It's just like one of the best. It's got some of the funnest little sayings in there. There is magic in every beginning. Yes, there is. Woohoo! Okay, you guys, if you have any questions about anything going on here, you'll find on page 19 is the list of all the bundles that are included when you join my team as a discount stamper or a discount shopper. You get to choose any one of these bundles for free. It's got like a $60 value. Time is running out on this. It ends on Thursday, September 30th. So please, this is, by the way, 2021, because people will watch this video in years to come. I don't want any confusion there. But um, don't wait. If you have ever even given it an inkling of thought, there is no time like now. Don't hesitate. You're going to get... $200 worth of product for a hundred bucks. Okay. Because by the time you get $125 free plus another $60 free bundle, now we're at 180 something, you get a free pump paper pumpkin kit. That's $20. It's worth a lot of money for 99 bucks plus tax, no shipping, free shipping. And you get to be part of something bigger. That is absolutely wonderful and fun. And who doesn't need more fun in their life? All right. That is celebration in a nutshell. This is the first time Stampin' Up! has ever held celebration outside of January, February, and March. So we are going to do this next year again. We're going to have January, February celebration along with a brand new spring mini catalog. And then we'll have celebration again in the summer. Now, I don't know if it'll be July and August or August and September like it was now. We had some shipping issues um, due to the pandemic that we had to push this back a month. I can't. No, it was supposed to be August to September. I don't know. But anyways, it'll happen again in the summer. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what's going to be happening? If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I love being your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I love sharing all these ideas with you. It is just the biggest bright spot in my day, other than baby Val, which, yeah. Um, so please don't hesitate to reach out to me. And does anybody have any questions? Uh, somebody said such a good deal to join. Yeah, it really is a good deal. Um, oh, Linda said she shared the three club friends in her group. She's creating a card for me, but we'll have some retired product. I don't care. I love cards. Don't you worry about retired product. I love to see what you're making, Linda. Anna says, great review of the celebration. Thank you. You are most welcome. Thank you so much for watching. Watching. Elizabeth said, oops, hang on, something just happened. Um, Elizabeth said, do we share now so they can watch on Tuesday or share then so more people can watch? You want to share right now because it takes a while for people to actually get to watching something. Oh, Judith is here. Judith, thank you so much. Judith is like one of my favorite commenters. She's always full of energy and happiness. Woohoo! All right, I'm going to let you guys go. I need to go eat lunch and get my retreat boxes out in the mail. Those are those will be coming, and I have some videos to shoot and some kits to get together, and oh my good Lord, I need to go take a nap. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's no time for that. You guys have yourselves a wonderful week, a wonderful Monday, and again, thank you so much for sharing a little bit of time with me today. Bye-bye.